Hello FPL managers, today we have a look at the best midfielder picks with game week 1 just around the corner. In today's video, we have a look at 5 midfielder options that we believe can perform the best during this season as they have great underlying numbers and good starting fixtures. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to hit 8k subs by the start of the new Premier League season and with that being said, let's get into the video. So taking a look at the first player on the list, it's Mo Salah. Salah is coming in at £13 million and is the most expensive player in FPL, but we do strongly recommend having him as his underlying stats last season were excellent. Furthermore, Liverpool have great starting fixtures for him to make another very strong start to the season, as he typically does make a good start to the Premier League in the new year. In fact, in the first six game weeks, Salah is expected to score 40 points by Fantasy Football Fix, which is the highest out of any player so far. Looking at Salah's underlying stats last season, he was very impressive, as his XG per 90 was 0.77, which was the highest in the league. Furthermore, his XA per 90 of 0.31 ranks second in the Premier League only to Kevin De Bruyne, which is very impressive for him. Unsurprisingly, Salah's score involvement per 90 was the highest in the league as well with 1.26, and with the highest expected FPL points per 90 of 8.32 and the highest total FPL points per 90 of 8.64, he's going to be an excellent FPL asset. As we've said before, as far as the central picks go, Seller is probably the best contender. Moving on to another premium pick in Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne had some very good stats last season in limited minutes as he was getting rotated and did have an injury throughout the season, but his total points output was very impressive. Like Liverpool, Man City also have some very good fixtures to start the season as they face up against West Ham, Bournemouth, Newcastle, Palace and Forest. As a result, Fix predict Kevin De Bruyne to score 38 points in the first six game weeks, which does rank second amongst all players behind Salah. Looking at his underlying stats last season, his expected goals per 90 of 0.24 wasn't the best, but his XA per 90 did top amongst all players with 0.42. His actual score involvements per 90 though was very high, getting 0.61 goals per 90, combined with his FPL assist per 90 gave him a 0.94 score involvement. Consequently, this score involvements per 90 figure did rank 4th amongst all players last season that played at least 800 minutes. His expected FPL points per 90 of 6.48 is very impressive, and his total FPL points per 90 of 8.0 is also extremely high. Now taking a look at another Man City asset, it's Riyad Mahrez. Mahrez looks to be a great differential pick in midfield, as at just £8 million, he only has a 6.1% ownership. Despite many managers turning their backs to him, he actually has the 4th highest predicted points in the first 6 game weeks out of any player, only better by Salah, De Bruyne and Haaland. This figure is sitting at 35 points, which is actually only 5 behind Mo Salah in the first 6 game weeks, so definitely one to consider. As we've touched on, Man City have great fixtures for him to make a good start, and he also had some very good underlying numbers last season. His XG per 90 did rank second amongst all players that played 800 minutes last season, only behind Mo Salah, as this was sitting at 0.6. His XA per 90 was okay at 0.18, but he did have a very high score involvement of over 1. As a result, his expected FPL points per 90 did rank second amongst all players only behind Mo Salah, as did his FPL points per 90. So as we've touched on previously, with the departure of Sterling and Gabriel Jesus, I would be expecting Mahrez to be getting lots of starting minutes for Man City in that right wing role, and if that's the case, I'm sure he's going to be racking in those points. Next up, it's Shun Min Son. Son was the second highest scoring player in FPL last season, only being better by Mo Salah by 7 points. Despite this though, he is coming in at £1 million cheaper at £12 million and could prove to be a nice pick in the midfield. According to Fix, Son has the 5th highest predicted points in the first 6 game weeks, as he's also projected to score 35. He was the tied at top goal scorer with Mo Salah last season, getting himself 23 goals, and had a very high goals per 90 of 0.69. Combined with an FPL assist per 90 of 0.3, he nearly averaged 1 a score involvement per 90. His XG and XA figures were also fairly solid with a 0.46 XG and 0.2 XA respectively. Son was very clinical and as a result his FPL points per 90 did rank 4th amongst all players last season that played 800 minutes behind Salah, Mahrez and De Bruyne. So considering that Son is only the 3rd highest owned premium option, he could be a nice pick in the midfield. And as the fifth and final midfielder on this list, it's another £8 million player in Luis Diaz. The Liverpool midfielder did impress in a short stint in the Premier League last season, 
as his underlying stats were very impressive. His XG of 0.4 did rank amongst some of the best players in the Premier League last season, in fact only been better by 7 other options. Furthermore, his XA per 90 of 0.2 was fairly solid, as this stat was on par with the likes of Riyad Mahrez. Luis Diaz had an expected FPL points per 90 of 5.83, which also ranks 7th amongst all midfielders, and a total FPL output of 6 points per 90. So I just think since he's got that starting spot now down for Liverpool in their 11, plus some very good starting fixtures, he's definitely one to look out for this year that can score big. Thanks for watching today's video. If you guys want to become a channel member, then click the join button down below and get featured on the members board at the end of the videos, just like Philip Ash here. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to show support for the channel and click the notification bell. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.